Hey girls, it's Monday and you're watching Project Life Size. If you didn't already hear yesterday from Crystal's video, Project Life Size was mentioned on the news, um, on the CBS Philly local news, which I will link below. Um, uh, so random, but cool. I mean, I was excited to see it. Though, when they showed the screen cap of the, the talking us, the videos, there were three of Shannon, two of Crystal, and one of me. So Jolly and Grinch got cut out. I don't even know if they did that just because we're obviously the most attractive of the group. Um, or if they just thought Shannon and Crystal were magically like five or six different women. Um, which just proves the point that all fat people look the same. Speaking of fat people, if you didn't already see, I put a video up yesterday called Hashtag Fat People Nightmares because there was a trending topic on Twitter called Fat People Nightmares. And so I thought I would make a video just expressing some frustration, not necessarily about the hashtag or like fat jokes. Like I make fat jokes. I make all kinds of jokes. But the intent behind things like that and also the fact that while a lot of people were probably just like joking and whatever, there is a section of those people that legitimately hate people that are bigger. And I've witnessed every single possible argument for why, why I should shut my mouth and stop talking about that kind of stuff or complaining. Like everything from, well, if you don't want people to talk about it, then lose weight, to, well, there have been training topics for, against gay people and black people, so why do you think you're special? Both of those, I say, what are you on? What are you on? Like, the fact that you're acknowledging that we suck in various ways, how does that make, how does that make it a good thing? I don't understand. I was also told that I'm overly sensitive because I'm fat. Um, you're right, I am sensitive to the issue because I'm fat. I'm also sensitive to a lot of issues um, because I'm a woman and because I'm from Michigan. People act as if you should remove your personal experience from the way you express yourself and the things that you think. And I'm pretty sure that's what being human is, is the way that you react to things and the way that you feel is, is largely influenced by your own personal experiences. So as someone who has 25 years of anecdotal proof that people suck, um, I know firsthand that there are people in the world that hate me for the way that I look and are very public about that hatred. And if you don't think that's true, you can feel free to look at my comments or Project Life Size comments sometimes and see that there is definitely hatred in the world. I'm also told that it is a choice to be fat, that all fat people are fat because they overeat. Because we uh, partake in the disgusting habit of overeating, that um, we basically put ourselves out for being mocked and it's something that people should have the right to do. And also that I, I would never make a, a video about any other topic, trending topic, because like if it were about, you know, black people or gays or, or gingers, that I would never say anything because, because it doesn't personally affect me. And to that I say, uh, bullshit. I have this, this human ability to have sympathy and empathy for people based on my own personal experience. Um, regardless of the situation, um, of their skin color or their sexual orientation, I understand what it's like to be hated for something that you, has no bearing on who you are as a person. I'm pretty sure that if I saw the trending topic, slutty girls should be raped, I would have something to say. Now, I'm neither slutty or someone who's been raped, but I find that overly offensive. Whereas sexual promiscuity is a choice, more or less, right? Um, and the fact that that would be a trending topic, which I'm pretty sure it would be because people are all idiots on Twitter, apparently. But yeah, so I'm only being told that I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick up for other things. And also being told that I have no sense of humor. Because I'm not saying that Twitter should censor anything. I'm not saying that humor should be censored. But I, what I am saying is, like, as people, maybe we should think about the things that we put out there. Maybe if we're going to put it out there, we should at least be funny. Because it's pretty serious because there are places in the world and there are situations where they won't even let fat people adopt kids. And as someone who was raised by thin parents who taught me really shitty eating habits, I take offense to that because just because I'm big does not mean that A, I have really bad eating habits, especially at the point where, where I'm adopting a child, or that I would pass those on because I'm pretty sure right now if I pass on these eating habits to my children, um, they would be the healthiest kids in school.
to me, that's that's just very similar to saying that, you know, gay parents will make their kids gay. For some reason, straight people keep having gay babies. Then parents keep raising fat kids. Not quite seeing the correlation here, but that's just me. But yeah, I hope all you girls are doing well. I hope all of you that are watching are doing well and that you're having a good week. And I love you very much, and I'll talk to you later.